and then we're gonna try to keep him from biting us. So here we go. He's not freaking out too bad. I got him right here, it's a big, oh, here he goes. Here he goes, I'm going in for him. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. It's Colin J and today we're in a snake infested creek and today's video is going to be teaching you how you can go out and catch a snake. Yeah and along with that we're going to be telling you all a few things you need to be aware of and a couple of things you need to expect if you are going to go out and try to pursue a snake to catch. Now before we get into the snake catching action we have to give a big disclaimer here. Um, <laughs> you should never go out and try to catch a snake if you can't properly ID it first. This video is for those of y'all who are good with snake ID or you've been wanting to get into herping and uh, you have been reading up a lot and you know your snake species pretty well and you want to catch a snake or if you find yourself in a position where you need to like catch a snake to move it but in most scenarios you should never ever try to handle a snake even if you can ID it but for the sake of this video we're going to be out here in the creek and we're going to be trying to catch some snakes and like she said this place is infested with them so <laughs> we're going to start walking the creek and hopefully we'll be able to find one very soon and we're going to show you guys some of the tips and techniques that we use to catch snakes so I'm ready to go you ready to go I'm ready if you're ready for today's video please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out any of the future action but with that being said I think there's some ripples actually going on up here there might be our first snake actually right in front of us so we're gonna check that out and let's see if we can catch one All right, so like we already said, we are in the creek today and today we are targeting water snakes. So in our opinion, water snakes are the easiest snakes to locate and to catch. And uh, we think we're gonna be able to find a whole bunch in the day. But I'm gonna let Jay tell you guys why we are actually in the creek looking for them instead of like walking down the bank. Yeah, so the creek that we're in is actually really clear. And if you look at the banks, there's a lot of grown up grass. And if you're walking along the bank, there's a pretty good chance that you're gonna actually like step on a snake and that snake could be a venomous snake. So whenever you're in the water, you can see everywhere you're stepping and it's just much safer. Yeah, and also like if a snake was to dart in the water, you can see it and you can actually catch it while it's swimming in the water instead of it, you know, escaping, you know, in the high grass in the bank and you're not knowing where you're reaching, putting your hand. So yeah. in our opinion, it's best if you're gonna pursue water snakes to get in these shallow clear creeks where you can see where you're stepping, see where you're walking. And you know, when you're in the water, you're out of the tall grass, you don't have to worry about getting ticks, yeah. chiggers, fire ants, all the other things you don't want to be stepping in. So that's why we're walking in the creek today and why we feel like we have the best success catching different water snake species. So <laughs> we're gonna continue walking up the creek and hopefully we will find one very, very soon. All right guys, I've spotted our first snake of the day. It's right in front of me. He's going parallel to the bank and I'm just kind of closing in on him. I pre-identified this snake as a plain bellied water snake. Now there's a couple things you need to be aware of before you go in and try to catch snake. Uh, so the first thing is that snakes are pretty quick. They can be pretty unpredictable and uh, you may not be able to get your hands on them at all. The second thing is if you get your hands on the snake, here you go, it's going this way, that they're probably going to release a foul smelling odor. It's called a musk on it. It's a defense strategy. And then the third thing, of course, is that the snake is probably going to try to bite you. Some snakes are less temperamental than others, but water snakes can be pretty defensive. So I'm fully expecting this snake to, <laughs> to go kind of crazy once I grab him. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to reach on the back end as far away from the head as possible. Um, in a real scenario, I don't care if I get bitten by the snake, but just for example, we're gonna try to reach as far back on the tail as possible. And then we're gonna try to keep him from biting us. So here we go. He's not freaking out too bad. I got him right here, it's a big, oh, here he goes. Here he goes, I'm going in for him. <laughs> got him, got him by the tail. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can see he's, being kind of kind of squirrely he's wanting to bite Ooh. and so when you grab him on the back end of the snake they're, you're further away from the head and further away from the teeth now these guys have pretty sharp teeth and if they bite you you're probably going to bleed they have an anticoagulant in their saliva which makes you bleed um, but it's not that big of a deal like I said to get bitten by the snake but we don't want to get bitten by snakes so he's he's kind of kind of cranky so what we're gonna do we're gonna try to get full control over him and the way we're gonna do this we're gonna get a hold behind the head so I'm gonna swap hands right here so I'm grabbing my dominant hand and we're just gonna go up underneath. And we got him. Okay, it wraps around, chill. And I like to kind of double the snake up so they're not writhing around so crazy so we don't harm the snake. And when you have him behind the head, you wanna have a firm but fair grip. You can see I've got him right here. My back hand is near the tail. 
front head is around the head and we have full control of this snake and wow this snake is stunning so like i said this is the plain bellied water snake this is a very common water snake species the scientific name is nerodia erythrogaster flavigaster some of my favorite scientific names and the reason why we give you guys the scientific names of these snakes is because these snakes can go by many different aliases you know a ton of different common names for the snake like plain bellied water snake yellow bellied water snake copperheaded water moccasin snake you never know what these snakes are going to be called so by giving that scientific name we all know exactly what snake we are handling and wow and like i said they get the name uh, plain belly water snake from that really uniform buttery yellow color on their belly i mean it's gorgeous this is one of these really beautiful snakes and when you flip them back over and look at their dorsum it's kind of this uniform olive gray color with a little bit of modeling pattern you know it's a really really cool pattern snake and once you get them wet you can really see the color this guy's already kind of wet so you can see the patterns pretty well um, they have those really cool rough keeled scales we know the snake is non-venomous a cottonmouth is the only other venomous snake we would expect to find here in the creek you know, a cottonmouth is going to have elliptical pupils, it's going to have a raised eyelid, it's going to have a heat sensing pit, and it's going to have huge venom sacs on the back side of the head at rest. You can see this guy's head is more round, and he has those big round pupils posing no threat to us. And he's calmed down quite a bit with a little bit of handling. You know, some snakes, like I said, some individuals are going to be more cranky than others. This snake is being quite calm. I, you know, I can take this hand off the head, and I'm not worried about him striking at me at all. Wow, it's a really, really cool snake. He's probably getting close to three feet long. Mm -hmm. The snake can reach upward. There? Yeah, right here. Y'all found him out there? Yes. Yeah. Y'all see snakes out here much? Yeah, all the time. There's hundreds of them. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is our first time out here. Oh, really? This, yeah. Yeah, this, this place is pretty infested. There's a bunch of snakes. Okay. But if you're up on the bank, you'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> They're just down here in the water. Thank you. No problem. You see this snake? He's about three feet long. These guys can reach upwards of about four feet in length. And he was just probably cruising down the banks looking for a bite to eat. They eat a ton of small fish, small frogs out here. Just a really wonderful snake to have in this creek. Great for the ecosystem. Yeah, as you can see, this snake is very much calmed down and we are about to release this guy back into the creek, back in the direction that he was going. That was a very successful snake catch. That is exactly how you want to catch a water snake without getting bitten. We didn't get any bites. The snake seems very low stressed and he looks very healthy and ready to go back into the creek and get back to what he was doing. And that's what we're going to do too. We're going to let him go and we're going to continue walking down the creek and see if we can find any more amazing snakes for you guys. Wow. Okay, here we go. We found this guy as we were walking down the creek. We had to reach under there and see how big he was. He pinched you good. Yeah, he got me pretty good. How bad did it hurt? Like on a scale from one to ten? Um, maybe like a four. Did it hurt worse than getting bitten by a snake? It actually did hurt worse than getting bitten by a snake. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Really cool guy. He's a big Ooh, guy. He's you got could, pretty big pinchers too. Yeah, you could probably eat him if you wanted to. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat you. We'll let you go, buddy. <laughs> so cute. Okay, we just found another snake. He's sneaking into the grass. I'm gonna have to grab him really fast. Yeah, just his tail sticking out. Oh. His head's right here. You see his head? His head's sticking up right here. If you just go in there hard, you'll probably grab him. Oh, oh, oh she got him. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was being so sneaky. He was being sneaky. Okay, we got the snake out of the grass mat and this snake bit me and must on me. And that was the two things that Cole said that we should expect when catching a snake and both of those things happened to me, of course. This is a beautiful Midland water snake, Nerodia sipidon pluralis. And my goodness, look at the colors on him. Yes, yeah, so we know this is a Midland water snake because it has these really beautiful dark red, kind of burgundy colored half moon belly patterns. This is unique to this species of snake. No other water snake in Arkansas is gonna have these belly patterns. And then we know the snake is non-venomous because if you flip him back over and you look at its head, the snake has round pupils. A cotton mouth is going to have vertical pupils. Um, the snake has no heat sensing pit like all the other pit vipers. Its head is round, doesn't have venom sacs. So we knew this snake was a non venomous Midland water snake, and that it was safe for Jay to reach into <laughs> the grass mat and grab it despite getting tagged. <laughs> so all that we could see was his head sticking out. So I just had to reach my hand in the grass mat and get him. <laughs> yeah, and you did a great job. This is a good sized snake. It's about two feet long. These snakes can get about four feet long, like the plain bellied water snake. And my goodness, these guys are just 
beautiful. It's probably the most beautiful snake you're gonna find in mm -hmm. this creek. Really, really cool snake. Okay, so this is where we first spotted the snake before we caught it, and this is literally the perfect place to find a Midland water snake. They love cool water streams, and this is exactly where we're gonna let the snake go. All right, let's get one last look at our little friend. Beautiful snake. All right, send him on. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> he went between your legs. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Awesome. Good job, Jay. All right, well, we made it out of the creek, and this is where we're going to end today's episode. We hope you guys enjoyed the snake catching action today. We hope you learned all about how to catch a water snake. You know, it can be a lot of fun going into the creek and going out and looking for snakes. Uh, but like we said in the very beginning of the video, we don't want you to go out there and pursue snakes if you cannot accurately identify them first. That's a great way to get yourself in a heap of trouble, you know, grabbing the wrong species, and we don't want any of that to happen to you. So please be sure if you're going to go after a snake, that you know exactly what you're doing, you know what kind of snake it is that you're reaching for before you do it. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out any of our future outdoor adventures. We're, We're Colin Jay, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.